and welcome aboard the Barefoot Boats. <clears throat> if this is your first time using the boat, or you're just not very confident on the water, please take a moment to watch this safety video. It won't go for that long, but we will go over the crucial points that you need to know so that you are safe on the water. First thing to keep in mind, if you've got children um, that are under the age of 12, they must wear a life jacket at all times. We provide life jackets and they're under our seats. We have different weight sizes. Simply putting the life jacket on, you place your head in and arm around, and then you bring your clip around to the front. Quite easy, and then you can pull that nice and tight and secure. We do have life jackets for smaller ch children as well. If you do have your own jacket, please, please keep in mind that it must uh, meet the standards of 100 nm for the life jackets on board these boats. So, on your barefoot boat, <coughs> we have an anchor well at the front right. We also have a spare 11 litres on the, on the boat, which is um, saved under the uh, front left of the seating compartment. The boat itself um, has a wash down gun. Uh, we've got a little bait and tackle uh, cutting area there. You've got a tackle box that comes with it. The boat also has fishing rods and fishing permits, so you do not need a fishing license. Those permits are located oh, on our map here. So if you do get pulled over by waterways and you're fishing, this is the permit you can use. On this, on this little map that we've got, we've got emergency contact details. Um, we've got the owner's mobile phone number and the barefoot boats number there. Please, if you're having an emergency that requires the police or ambulance, call them first and call us second. If you do find that you have a breakdown, um, simply drive the boat into the nearest riverbank or drop the anchor, give us a call and we'll bring out our boat to rescue you. Later on, we'll go through and we'll show you where some of the no-go zones are. We also have, in our bucket, some wipes for your toilet, our first aid kit, garbage bags, and a VHF handheld radio if you wanted to call Marine Rescue, which will be on channel 16. Just a quick rundown with how our pizza oven works. So you will be supplying with, with chopping boards and tongs. Now keep in mind our pizzas that we pre-sell for you guys, they've already been pre-cooked on the base. So the key to cooking with these pizza ovens is obviously turning the gas bottle on. At the back, like the barbecue knob, you click uh, and turn it on, okay? Once it's, once it's on, give it about 10 to 15 minutes to heat up. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get that pizza stone nice and hot, okay? and um, trying to get this pizza stone here nice and hot. Be able to still cook the base. The key is, is when you're cooking these pizzas, turn it down low because you don't want to cook the top too quickly. Okay. So we do have a portable toilet on the boat, okay? To use the toilet, a simple matter of pulling up and down, that's how you flush it, and then to drain, pull this here. Please try and only stick the number ones on these ones. At every boat ramp, that there is public toilets to use, and we do say these are for an emergency. If you're after privacy, we do have a privacy screen. How do we turn the boat on? Firstly, we have a kill switch just here, which kills all power from the battery, okay? Simply turning the key on will start the engine. To go forward, you've got your lever here. You, you pull the lever button up, and then push it up towards where it says F for forward. There is a screw there that is our governating screw. Please don't take it out, as you will achieve about one more knot in speed, but you will start cavitating on the motor and damage it, okay? To go in reverse is simply, once again, put it down and you've got your reverse there. Driving the boat is quite simple, it's like steering a car. We've got a GPS fish finder here, which gives you your depth. Um, and that's, so now we've run over the basics on how to start it. There's a couple of key things when you're driving these boats. You've got to keep in mind that they are a big, long floating brick, okay? So maneuvering is very slow. So that, what I always say to people is keep in mind that the slower you go, the better it is. Whenever you're making your approach somewhere, take into the factor that you've got the wind and the current 
and ideally you want the wind to be on your nose and your current to be on your nose because you can go at a slower rate and maneuver the boat easier. So if you don't understand what I mean by that, is if the wind is coming towards me and I'm driving towards the wind and we are colliding, I actually have a better opportunity to control the boat. Where if I had the boat going this way and the wind blowing from behind, I'm always gonna get blown off my uh, the jetty or the wharf and it'll be a lot harder for your, your deckhand to tie you up when you come alongside. Let's take the boat for a spin and we'll go out and have a look at some of these no-go zones where, you, where we can't let you take them. Okay, so now we're gonna make our approach as we come out of the Harrington Inlet. Something you've gotta be mindful of is on the right-hand side, there's a very shallow bar, okay? And you've gotta go hard to left or port and run up the brake wall. I'm gonna show you how to do that now so that you don't run into this bar. Video. on your right hand side there was that bar you've got to come up the brake wall until you go past the red boy um, port marker and then you can just turn right we're on the many point side and we strongly recommend going over and having a look on the other side of this brake wall but where this red marker is we actually don't want you to cross that line and go seaward side as I said we're happy for you to go in and around um, and behind where it's nice and protected, but we don't want you to go any further seaward side. So, places like that little bay in there get very well protected, especially when you're starting to get winds that are coming from the um, from the east and also the south there. Um, if you're finding that we're getting a bit of a northeasterly breeze, then you want to stick to the river on the northern sides. Places like going up to Coopernal Pub um, and all the way up to Stone's Oysters, you find very nice little protected bays in there and there's some fantastic fishing spots. Don't forget, go over to Menning Point. They do great fish and chips and good on. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a quick lesson in how to pull the boat alongside. So right now, I've got my wind, which is coming directly behind me. So my ideal situation is to turn my nose into where the marina is that I'm going to park and using the wind against me to pull up. was I have my nose into the wind, which made it very easy for me to go nice and slow, just having the motor in gear and driving myself comfortably up into the marina. As I said, the best way to do it is nice and slow. So look guys, I hope you have a fantastic day out on the water. Please enjoy the boats. Please respect the boats and respect other people on the water as well.